Now we're going to do an experiment that's a little bit different than the ones we've been working on. This is a mung bean sprouting experiment where we are going to sprout mung beans in both the light and dark and then do a taste test to see if there's a difference between whether you're sprouting them in the light or in the dark. So in general I started by boiling some water to make sure that it was sterile and pretty hot and then I soaked my mung bean seeds in that hot water for about six hours. And then when I took them out, I, I kind of did this a little, like, not, I, I didn't drain off all the water or um, soak out all the, all the water because I want a little bit of this moisture to stay with them when I put them in their jar. Uh, but I don't want all of this moisture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain them. You could use it just like a fork or something, you know, and that would be fine. So we're just gonna strain this off and then I'm gonna put these in just so they have a nice little coating of water. Not very much, we don't want these to rot. We wanna make sure that they'll grow without rotting. And we're gonna put them inside of a mason jar. So this one is clear and then I've just put a coffee filter on top and then twisted that on the top of it. We want this to be able to breathe a little bit so that um, some of the water will evaporate off and the rest will uh, stay with the seeds. So we're just gonna put those in there and then we're gonna put this back on and we'll need to rinse these several times in a day. So um, like two or three times. And what you're doing then is you're replacing uh, any of the moisture that's evaporated off. Right now where we're at, it's very hot and dry and so the moisture is gonna evaporate off of these really quickly. I want these, for the experiment's sake to stay about the same temperature. So I'm gonna put these underneath some LED grow lights. Uh, so they'll be next to each other in the same temperature, but this one will be exposed to the light because I'll have it angled towards um, those grow lights. And then the other one that I have, I wrapped in aluminum foil. You could put it in a paper bag, um, just something so that you're still allowing any moisture to escape from here but you're not uh, allowing in the light. I am gonna kind of flash them with light right now though because I wanna rinse these seeds. So we'll take this up and we're gonna just, see at the bottom there, we're just gonna add a little bit of the water to kind of twice volume it. We're gonna swirl a little bit. And we're gonna pour off excess. See, I'm exposing it to light right now, but it's it'll be a lot less light. There's um, receptors though that they kind of reset for the, the light and the far light response. So if this is exposed to light, it changes that clock. It, it zeroes you out. Okay, so that, that can be a real problem with a lot of things in horticulture. Like if you have photosensitive plants like Easter lilies or um, poinsettias, both of those you want to make sure that you're exposing to specific amounts of light and if that lighting amount is off or changed either your Easter lily won't flower uh, in the way wrong season in Easter <laughs> because that's not when they naturally would flower at all or your poinsettia doesn't develop those big showy red bracts. Um, I, everything that I've read said that there's going to be a flavor difference between ones grown in the light and ones grown in the dark. So that's what we're going to look for. Uh, people seem to suggest that uh, if it starts to generate chlorophyll, if these start to photosynthesize, your new cotyledons come out and it starts to turn into growth mode, it um, also makes the seeds bitter. So I guess we'll figure that out. All right. Thanks.